Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, today I'm going to show you um, how to fix an error where you're trying to connect your Bluetooth earphones to FL Studio and you get an error message regarding uh, uh, such as one that I'm about to go through real quick. Um, my Bluetooth earphones are called um, RK Kasongo's Beats. Uh, that's my Bluetooth earphones and when I try to connect it to FL Studio I get this error message which says the required sample rate for the 8 for the 8,000 Hertz couldn't be set for input by the core audio driver input disabled um, I want, I want, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this it's really easy now the first step, um, if you guys ha haven't um, added this yet, I would definitely recommend you do so. We're going to install a different audio driver, and um, and that driver, uh, let me see, the audio driver. If I can open a new window, if you go to Google and then I show, it's called I show you audio capture right and you want to click on this first link it's by shiny white box so once you click on that link right you're gonna follow the instructions below right uh, this comes with uh, if you go to here it's gonna download really the latest one uh, right now I know it says um, hi Sierra but you can download this gonna work on on the on the latest Mac uh, Mac um, updates so click on this and then follow the instructions below so the first thing you're going to do is going to install the, the software the audio software and it's gonna install easily and once you get to this point it's gonna give you this uh, thing that says extension system extension blocks don't worry about it just click OK and uh, you see you see it says installation was successful and the next thing you want to do is go to privacy and uh, security and privacy. And uh, once you have done that privacy and security, security and privacy, you want to go down to general. And you see here it says allow apps downloaded from Apple Store. And then there's Apple Store and identified developers. So you want to click on uh, allow because uh, even though it says this this is an unidentified uh, even though it says identified developers this is an unidentified developer uh, Max saw this and said we don't recognize what uh, shiny white box limited we don't know who that is so they block it so you have to go and manually allow that so you click on allow and um, and you go to uh, system preferences select sound and then output there should be a new device called uh, I show I show you audio capture it's really simple uh, if you go to uh, system preferences right, and you see sound here you will see that I show you audio capture is right there right? so you can just go ahead and exit out of there and uh, this is for any earlier Mac uh, Mac updates so this is the info instruction you follow if you had a you haven't um, you haven't updated the, the, to the latest Mac software so you just follow the instructions it's really simple down below I'm not gonna get into that so the next step that you guys want to do is you want to go and find audio MIDI setup right? audio MIDI setup uh, for some reason um, I would say I think if you go to Launchpad, click on Launchpad, right, and here you click on Audio, right? Okay, so in Launchpad, you click on the Launchpad. You have to go through Launchpad because if you go through Finder, it's not gonna show up. You have to go through Launchpad and just search Audio MIDI setup. And once you have that open, as you can see, you have uh, this is the actual Bluetooth device. This is the one that I did not. Set up the outputs, All right? So you can see this is the output. Here's two outputs here. This one is the input by zero outputs. 
So what we want to do is we want to create an aggregate aggregate device. So you're going to go down here and click on create devices and then on you select the first option create aggregate device and that's gonna you're gonna see this right here and the first thing you I would recommend is you rename the device uh, for me I just put it to Bluetooth right and then the next step uh, is you wanna select the audio devices the first one is your bits now you, you can kind of get an idea you might see two of them as well because that is the input and then you got the output so you want to select the one with output right so you, what you want to do is select that one first and you can see it's gonna be automatically set to 48 k Hertz uh, just means 48 thousand kilohertz so uh, 48 kilohertz so you want to go ahead and um, leave that and the next thing you want to select is the I show you audio capture that you downloaded and it's gonna show up like this right you can see that the input channels are set to i show you capture but the output channels there's two output channels that are set up from the um, bluetooth uh, headphones and also two from the i show you audio capture right likewise if you also had the speaker let's say you had um you had your um for example you had an interface right an audio interface and your audio interface is collected to connected to a speaker um, you will select the speaker as well and it's also going to show up or it's going to show it's going to be added to output channels right so you can select as many as you want but for in this in this tutorial I specifically want to connect my Bluetooth headphones so I'll go ahead and set up this audio output and set uh, the output to RK1 here that's the, the clock source right and so uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna close this and the next thing I want to open is is a uh, FL studio now look I had FL studio already loaded up now as you can see when I look down here the Bluetooth option I created doesn't show up that is because it's not we have we have to reload so I'll, I'll go ahead and save my profile so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reopen one of these so for you guys you might just want to close it right wait for FL studio to close okay there we go it closed and then reopen FL studio again and it's gonna you're gonna get this arrow once more but don't worry about it so click OK and immediately you should hear when your FL studio open you should hear sound through earphones your Bluetooth earphones which signals that some some kind of connection went through so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on audio as you can see, like I had tried to connect my Bluetooth, but I got that got that error. Now you can see this Bluetooth option show up down here, and that's what you want to select. And once you have that select, you're not gonna get the error anymore. And now you can go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and open my previous project. And let's play and see if it works to our Bluetooth. yep yep it's perfect and this is exactly what we're trying to achieve uh, thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial uh, if you guys like uh, my tutorials if you guys need help with any other things uh, I mix and master beats I mix and master vocals everything in the FL studio uh, clean vocals if I uh, just go ahead and uh, maybe subscribe and um, just go ahead and s uh, send me a uh, a comment sec in the section below asking what if you guys have any questions about FL Studio uh, and anything that you guys need help with uh, just comment in the section below otherwise have a wonderful day see you guys next time thank you so much bye y'all